Holocaust survivor and Candles Museum founder, Eva Kaur will soon be remembered through art. Recently, work started on a larger-than-life-size mural of Kaur in downtown Indianapolis. Demetrius Sanders joins us now with more on the mural and how Kaur's son is reacting to the honor. Demetrius. Well, Mike, since her death, there's been many efforts made to both remember and honor the life of Eva Kaur. Now these efforts will extend to Indiana's capital, and her son says he is happy to see his mother's legacy being upheld. What is now mostly just a brick wall, one side of the 500 Festival building in downtown Indianapolis will soon become much more. Hoosier artist Pamela Bliss, responsible for painting several other outdoor murals in Indiana, will paint next a 53-foot mural of Holocaust survivor and longtime Terre Haute resident Eva Kaur. My hope is that my mom's presence in downtown Indianapolis on the side of the uh, 500 Festival building will serve as a beacon of light. Kaur died on July 4th of last year. In addition to her work as an advocate for forgiveness, in 2017, Kaur served as Grand Marshal of the 500 Parade. In 2019, she was also selected as the pace setter for the 500 Festival Mini Marathon, making her the first person to ever hold both titles. Alex Kaur says as the mural to honor his mother comes to fruition, he was able to play a part by laying some of the first brush strokes. Frankly, it was a little scary because you're up on a scaffold about 30 or 40 feet up in the air. You have a rope tied around you. So it's a little intimidating. A couple deep breaths and I was okay. Alex Kors says, although the large honor in Indianapolis, that the art will not supersede or take place of the work being done at Candles Museum in Terre Haute. My hope is that, that, uh, that um, uh, Candles, and really all efforts to um, extend my mom's legacy will continue. And Alex also says, in the midst of social justice being pushed to the forefront, he hopes that his mother's image on the side of the 500 Festival building will send a message of togetherness. Considering um, the social unrest that we've had in our country, and in particular in downtown Indianapolis, I'm hopeful that uh, her presence in, in the city of Indianapolis on the side of this building will, will serve to unite all communities.